Hi students, welcome to DS Economics channel. Today we are going to discuss 2017 February Kerala State Eligibility Test Economics Previous Year Question. This is your part number 2. In this part, we are going to discuss from question number 41 to 80 questions. So those who come for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. And those who uh, do not watch the previous videos till now, they can watch the uh, previous videos of Kerala said in the playlist I have given the link of the playlist in the description box so that you can watch all the previous year videos in one playlist so let's start today's video question number 41 which of the following statement is not correct first one is the value of Lorentz ratio uh, ranges in between 0 to 1 Lorentz ratio ranges from 0 to 1 yes Lorentz uh, curve represents the equality. Zero means uh, perfect equality and one means perfect inequality. Then the HDI ranges in between zero to one. Yes, HDI uh, one means uh, maximum human development index and zero means uh, lost. Then the value of PQLI ranges from zero to hundred physical quality of life index it ranges from uh, 1 to 100 yes it ranges from 1 to 100 pqli method we calculate uh, from physical quality of life index morris de morris so it is also true then option number d the slr of rbi ranges in between 5 to 15 or uh, statutory liquidity ratio of rbi reserve bank of india it uh, ranges from 5 to 15 no this is in because uh, slr it ranges from 18 percent 18 percent to uh, 40 percent approx 18 to 14 40 percent of a bank's net demand and time liabilities so however the exact percentage can vary based on the rbs monetary policy decision but it's ap ranges approx from 18 to 40 percent not from 5 to 15 so here option d is incorrect so which statement is not correct so here option number d is not correct so no, all other options are correct here then question number 42 list one and list two first one is uh Kerala's right to service act national food security act uh, mg noraga act the right of the uh, right to children of free and compulsory education uh, Kerala's right to service act it uh, it is in the 2012 National Food Security Act, it come in 2013, MG Norega Act, 2005, Matamandi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, then the Right to Children of Free and Compulsory Education Act, 2009. So, A3, B1, 2C, and uh, D4, option A is right here. Then, question number 43, which of the following statement is wrong re regarding FSLRC? Uh, so which is wrong according to fslrc fslrc means uh, financial sector legislative reforms commission uh, so the incorrect statement is first one is it was constituted by the ministry of finance in 2011 yes this is right then its chairman was b n uh, sri krishna yes this is also right it was set up to review the legal and institutional structure of the financial sector in India. Yes, this is also right. Uh, financial sector. Then the commission submitted its report in 2014. Uh, no, this is incorrect. In 2013, the commission submitted its report in 2013, not 2014. So here option D is wrong. So here option D is right according to our question then question number 44 list one and list two first one is sevi security exchange board of india security exchange board of india it is related with uh, capital market yes sevi it is related with capital market then irda irda means insurance regulatory and development Author authority it is related with insurance sector then pfrda pfrda means pension fund regulatory and development authority pension fund regulatory and development authority it is related with pension 
देन टी आर ए आई ट्राई मीनस टेलिकम रेगुलेटरी अथरीटी अफ इंडिया टेलिकम रेगुलेटरी अथरीटी अफ इंडिया इट इज रिलेटेड उथ टेली कम्युनिकेसन सो इफ यू नो द फुल फर्म अफ दिस एब्रिवेसन देन यू इजिली एनसर द क्वेश्चन SEBI Security Exchange Board of India Capital Market IRDA related with insurance sector PFRDA related with pension scheme TRI related with telecommunication so option A for uh, B3 C1 D2 option C is right here option C then question number 45 45 related to Kerala so let it 46 also related to, uh, with uh oh state kerala so come to question number 47 identified the state having decadal growth rate of population highest than the national growth rate of 17.16 percent in 2011 census this is also based on all data so let it this is uh, answer is gujarat but let it then question number 48 IPR 1991 Androses IPR IPR means uh, the industrial policy resolution industrial policy resolution IPR industrial policy resolution 1991 or new uh, uh, industrial policy new economic policy so IPR uh, industrial policy resolution 1991 it Andros nationalization of all small scale industry disinvestment of public sector units government withdrawal from industrial production or import substitution so it is related with disinvestment of public sector units public to private so it endorses the disinvestment of public sector undertakings as a part of the broader strategy to liberalize the Indian economy. So it aims to reduce the role of government in business and encourage private investment including FDI, foreign direct investment. So this shift was part of a larger effort to enhance efficiency and competitiveness in the economy. So option B is right here. Then question number 49, which hypothesis states that asset prices reflect all publicly available information about the value of an asset it is called as principal agent hypothesis um, uh, ready sex natural rate hypothesis or efficient market hypothesis it is called as efficient market hypothesis efficient market hypothesis because according to this hypothesis it is impossible to uh, consistently achieve higher returns than average market returns on a risk adjusted basis because all relevant information is already incorporated into asset prices so it is called as efficient market hypothesis then question number 50 consider the following schemes of the government of india pradhan mantri jandhan yojana pradhan mantri uh, mudra yojana ujjala yojana gram sadak yojana correct chronology so chronology first one is pradhan mantri uh, pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana this was launched in 2000 pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana then pradhan mantri jandhan yojana pradhan mantri jandhan yojana it was launched in 2014 pradhan mantri jandhan yojana 2014 then pradhan mantri mudra yojana mudra yojana launched in 2015 and Pradhan Mantri Ujjala Yojana Ujjala Yojana launched in 2016 2016 so first one is Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana option number 4 option number 4 4 then 1 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 option D Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana 2000 Jandhan Yojana 2014, Mudra Yojana 2015, Ujjala Yojana 2016. So option D is right here. Then question number 51. Receipts from disinvestment of public sector undertakings is revenue receipt, capital receipt, public debt or non-tax receipt. Receipt from disinvestment of public sector undertakings, it is called as capital receipt. It is called as capital receipt because this uh, it these are classified as capital receipt this is because they involve the sale of government assets which is an one-time inflow 
as opposed to revenue received that are derived from regular income sources like taxes this is one time this involves the sale of government assets which is a one time in so it is called as capital receipt then question number 52 according to permanent income hypothesis the value of mps out of transitory income is value of mps out of transitory income so in the theory of permanent income hypothesis the value of mps out of transitory income in permanent income hypothesis transitory income is zero because according to permanent income hypothesis individual base their consumption decision on their expected long term average average income rather than current income so as a result they do not save or spend a portion of transitory income or temporary or one time income because they perceive it is not affecting their permanent income level so therefore the marginal propensity to save out of transitory income is considered to be zero so here option uh, b is right then question number 53 among the following economist who is a keynesian keynesian economist tobin burner uh, uh, swartz or mezler so 53 james tobin james tobin is a keynesian economics so option a is right here james tobin then question number 54 the lead bank scheme includes lead lead bank it is recommended by godgill studies group yes it is a post bank nationalization development yes and an area intensive approach yes these all are true according to lead bank scheme so option d is right here because it recommended by godgill study group so this was suggested by the gadgil committee to improve banking facilities in rural sector and a post bank nationalization development it was introduced after the nationalization of banks in 1969 to ensure better distribution of banking service then an area intensive approach means the scheme adopts an area intensive approach where each bank is assigned to a specific district to focus on for development so all of these above are correct option then question number 55 fdi in multi brand retailing means multi brand uh, retailing means investment in selling different brands of different commodities in the same shop to the consumers yes this is called as multi brand retailing means in same shop different brands uh, uh, product are sell so fdi in multi brand retailing refers to fdi foreign direct investment in retail outlet that sell products from various brands and categories like grocery shops uh, such as groceries item clothing item electronics item so under one roof allowing consumers to purchase multiple types of goods in one location so this is called as multi brand retailing then question number 56 primary deficit is primary deficit fiscal deficit minus interest payment so fiscal deficit plus interest payment fiscal deficit minus interest payment so option b is right here primary deficit is equal to fiscal deficit minus interest payment then question number 57 consumption increases as income increases but less than proportionate to increase in income this is called as uh, uh, this is the psychological law of consumption given by j m kens when income increases consumption increases and income increases we know that when income increases consumption increases but not same as income so but less than proportionate to increase in income it is called as uh, can psychological law of consumption so option c is right here then question number 58 uh, kudumba sri mission in kerala has been working under so uh, these are uh, related with kerala so let it 59 uh in w- y is equal to function of x x is an des here x is an des term dependent or coefficient or independent or static here x is an independent event uh, and y is a dependent variable here x is a independent uh, variable so x is independent because um here y is dependent is its values depend on x 
if we raise the value of x then the value of y increases so here x is independent and y is dependent so option c is right here then question number 60 income tax is based on the principle of benefit service ability to pay or prosperity income tax is based on the principle of ability to pay so here option c is right here according to the ability we pay our taxes so it is income tax is based on ability to pay then question number 61 find out the odd one income tax security transaction tax corporate income tax um, profession tax so which one is uh, odd uh, here profession tax is not included in this type of tax income tax security transaction tax and corporate income tax are uh, um, different types of tax but profession tax is not included here because we know that while uh, these are uh, different types of taxes these are the taxes collected by the central government but professional tax is a state level uh, these are the central level central level tax and profession tax is a state level tax state level tax levied by the state government or professionals professions trades employment these are the state level uh, taxes collection so option d is uh, odd from from this option then question number 62 national accounts statistics is estimated by rbi ministry of finance cso means central statistical organization or niti Aik, national institution for transforming india so national account statistics it is estimated by cso central statistical organization indian uh, it is included in so then in the indian constitution labor is included in the union list state list concurrent list or none of this so in indian constitution labor is included in the uh, concurrent list labor is included in the concurrent list because in in, uh, in labor it is in the concurrent list which means both the union and state governments have the authority to legislate on methods uh, related to labor so however in case of any conflict between the union and state laws the union laws prevails so it is labor included in the concurrent list then question number 64 uh, demonstration effect means demonstration effect means uh, effect on advertisement imitating effect on consumption effect on entertainment effect of expenditure demonstration means imitating effect of consumption from others we consume those goods so uh, it is called as demonstration effect so imitating effect of consumption then question number 65 capital depending means capital depending means uh, more units of labor is compared to capital using more of human capital or increase in capital per worker in already existing production yes capital depending means increase in capital per worker in already existing production so this is called as capital depending then question number 66 consider the following le uh, following legislations the correct chronology sequence indian trade union act industrial dispute act minimum wage act maternity benefit act indian trade union trade union act come in 1926 industrial dispute act it came in 1947 minimum wage act 1948 and maternal benefit act 1961 so here chronology is 1 2 3 4 uh, 26 47 48 61 so 1 2 3 4 so, chronology so option d is right here then question number 67 if the coefficient of skewness is positive then the relationship between mean median and mod is if the coefficient of sco uh, skewness is positive then mean greater than median greater than mod so mean greater than median greater than mod positively skewed and then question number 68 additional respondents or sampling units are selected based on referral process under quota sampling judgment sampling convenience sampling or snowball sampling so here 
एडिशनल रेस्पोंडेंट और सैम्पलिंग यूनिट्स आर सिलेक्टेड बेस ऑन रेफरल प्रोसेस मीन्स वन इट इनक्रीजेस टू डिफरेंट मीन्स नोबल सैम्पलिंग सो दिस टेक्निक इज ऑफन यूज इन स्टडीज हर द पॉपुलेशन इज हार्ड टू रीच एंड एक्जिस्टेंस पार्टिसिपेंट्स हेल्प रिक्वेर फ्यूचर पार्टिसिपेंट्स फ्रॉम एमंग देयर इक्विटेंस सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज नोबल सैम्पलिंग देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन इन ए लिनियर रिग्रेसन इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी एक्स हियर बी बी डी नॉट्स बी मीन्स इट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एम पी सी मीन्स स्लोप बी मीन्स इट इज द स्लोप देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी इफ द नंबर्स ऑफ इंडिपेडेंट वेरिएबल्स ऑन ए राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द लिनियर इक्वेशन इज मोर देन वन देन द करस्पोंडिंग इक्वेशन इज कॉल्ड इट इज कॉल्ड एज मल्टीपुल लिनियर रिग्रेसन इक्वेशन इट इज कॉल्ड एज मल्टीपुल लिनियर इक्वेशन बिकज इट इज यूज टू मडेल द रिलेसनशिप बिट्वीन टू और मोर इंडिपेडेंट वेरिएबल्स एंड ए डिपेडेंट वेरिएबल्स सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज मल्टीपुल लिनियर रिग्रेसन इक्वेशन देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एन इवेंट इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ सक्सेस बाय नंबर ऑफ ट्रायल्स इज कंसिडर्ड एज इट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लासिकल एप्रोच ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी येस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज क्लासिकल एप्रोच ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी मीन्स प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ सक्सेस बाय नंबर ऑफ ट्रायल्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लासिकल एप्रोच ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी टू लिस्ट वन लिस्ट टू एस एस तारेपुर कमिटी चक्रवर्ती कमिटी चेलिया कमिटी नरसिम्हा कमिटी एस एस तारेपुर कमिटी इट इज रिलेटेड विथ कैपिटल अकाउंट कन्वर्टेबिलिटी तारेपुर कमिटी कैपिटल अकाउंट कन्वर्टेबिलिटी देन चक्रवर्ती कमिटी इट इज रिलेटेड विथ वर्किंग ऑफ द मॉनिटरी सिस्टम देन चेलिया कमिटी रिलेटेड विथ टैक्स रिफॉर्म देन नरसिम्हा कमिटी रिलेटेड विथ फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर रिफॉर्म सो ए थ्री बी टू सी वन डी फोर इन द ऑप्शन नंबर ए सो सेवेंटी टू राइट ऑप्शन इज ए देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी थ्री हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग फर्स्ट वन इज इंक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड ऑफ कंट्रैक्सलाइजेशन इन द ऑर्गेनाइज फैक्टर सेक्टर सिंस नाइनटीन नाइन्टी येस फ्रम नाइन्टीन नाइन्टी वन न्यू इकोनोमिक पॉलिसी वी सी कंट्रैक्चुअलाइजेसन देन एट्टी फोर परसेंट ऑफ द वर्कर्स आर इन द अनऑर्गनइज सेक्टर इनफर्मल सेक्टर ये दिस इज अल्सो रईट देन देर इज इनक्रिजिंग ट्रेंड ऑफ एम्प्लयमेंट इलास्टिटी सिंस नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू टू सेवेंटी थ्री नो दिस इज इनकरेक्ट बिकज इन फैक्ट एम्प्लयमेंट इलास्टिटी इन इंडिया हेज बीन जेनेरली सन एज एन डिक्लाइन ट्रेंड since 1972-73 indicating that the rate of employment growth has been kept pace with economic growth so this is uh, here option c is uh, sorry uh, uh, yes option c is incorrect then option d there is a long term trend of the decline in the rate of employment growth since 1972 to 73 yes decline in the rate of employment so option a b and d are true option c is in uh, wrong so here Um, our right option is option number C. Then question number seventy-four. Who suggested expenditure tax in India as an alternative to income tax? Expenditure tax is an alternative to income tax. Who suggested? Musgrave, Galbraith, Dalton, or Calder? It is suggested by Calder. So option D is right here. Then question number seventy-five. The nodal agency responsible for coordinating. coordination of national family health survey nfhs national family health survey is uh, the nodal of, uh, agency responsible for uh, coordination of nfhs nfhs is unfpa nssso ministry of health and family welfare iips it is related with iips 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 means international institute for population sciences international institute for population sciences and unfpa means united nation population fund then nsso means national sample survey organization then iips means international institute for population sciences so it is option d is right here then question number 76 the government of india launched sovereign gold bonds and gold monetization scheme on 5th november 2015 yes this is the right option 
गोल्ड बॉन्ड्स एंड गोल्ड मोनिटाइजेशन स्कीम लॉन्च ऑन फिफ्थ नवंबर 2015 सो ऑप्शन ए इज राइट हियर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 77 द टेंथ मिनिस्ट्रियल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ द डब्ल्यू टी ओ वॉज हेल्ड इन वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टेंथ टेंथ कॉन्फ्रेंस हेल्ड इन दोहा नरबी पैरिस और हॉन्गकॉन्ग टेंथ कॉन्फ्रेंस हेल्ड इन नाइरोबी सो ऑप्शन बी इज राइट हियर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी रे ऑल डाटा रिलेटेड देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन इज इंडिया एक्सटर्नाल डेप टू जी डी पी रेसिओ इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन रिलेटेड नाउ इन रिसेंट डाटा इंडिया एक्सटर्नाल डेप इन रेसिओ इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इज एज पर मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इंडिया एक्सटर्नाल डेप टू जी डी पी रेसिओ इज एस्टिमेटेड टू बी अराउंड एटीन पॉइंट सेवेन परसेंट एटीन पॉइंट सेवेन परसेंट सो दिस रिफ्लेक्ट ए स्लाइट डिक्रीज फ्रॉम द प्रिवियस इयर रेसिओ दैट इज इन प्रिवियस इयर इट इज नाइनटीन परसेंट एंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इट इज एटीन पॉइंट सेवेन परसेंट एक्सटर्नाल डेप टू देन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन हेल्थ इन इंडिया एज परसेंटेज ऑफ डी जी डी पी हेल्थ सेक्टर इन टू सो लेट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इंडिया गवर्नमेंट हेल्थ एक्सपेंडिचर इज प्रोजेक्टेड टू बी एप्रोक्सीमेटली वन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी वन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी सो दिस रिप्रेजेंट एन इनक्रीज फ्रॉम प्रिवियस इयर विथ एम टू रेज पब्लिक हेल्थ स्पेंडिंग टू टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एज आउटलाइन इन द नेशनल हेल्थ पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन देन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू सुरम सुविधा पोर्टल श्रम सुविधा पोर्टल यू डी ए वाई स्कीम जे ए एम ट्रिनिटी श्रम सुविधा पोर्टल इट इज रिलेटेड विथ लेबर बिकॉज दिस पोर्टल इज डिजाइन टू सिंप्लीफाई कंप्लीएंस ऑफ लेबर लॉज एंड प्रोवाइड वेरियस सर्विसेज टू वर्कर्स देन यू डी ए वाई स्कीम इट इज रिलेटेड विथ पावर यू डी ए वाई मीन्स यू डी ए वाई एम टू इम्प्रूव द फाइनेंशियल हेल्थ ऑफ डिस्कॉम्स इन द पावर सेक्टर देन जैम ट्रिनिटी इट इज रिलेटेड विथ डी बी टी जैम रेफर्स टू द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ जनधन जनधन बैंक अकाउंट एंड आधार जनधन बैंक अकाउंट एंड आधार आधार एंड मोबाइल हुईज फैसिलेट डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर्ट डी बी टी मीन्स डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर जे मीन्स जनधन अकाउंट एंड जनधन एंड ए मीन्स आधार एंड एम मीन्स मोबाइल विच फैसिलेट डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर टू बेनिफिरीयस डी बी टी मीन्स डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर सो हियर एट्टीन नंबर एट्टीन नंबर ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट ऑप्शन नंबर डी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फॉर द टूडे से आई होप you get some knowledge from this uh, video if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section i will try to rectify your doubts so in the next part we are going to discuss uh, from question number 81 to 120 question so those who come for the first time please subscribe to this channel and uh, thank you for watching jai jagannath